Hey, what's up guys? So I realized we haven't done an update about Rankin University. So I'm going today. I got to apply for my semester too. So I'm going to take you guys along. Come on. Right, we're stopping by Amazon to get a uh, coffee. And uh, today we're going to be talking also about the new ED Plus visa that I recently got when I was at immigration uh, when I updated my education visa. So let's talk about that as well. coolest thing about Bangkok is the old and the new. This train track has been around since World War II, this train line, and then you got the airport rail link as well. So you got the old and the up the new, so it's kind of cool. You know, so it's funny, we're taking three transportations. We take the motorbike to the airport rail link, and then when we get into town, we're taking the canal boats, so. <laughs> Oh, I like that you know I'm getting better at Thai because I can see the, the alphabet with the raw rule instead of <laughs> switching to English. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just going to ramp up here. It's actually cool because it's right next to the Rankamang station. And we just take the boat about four four stops and then we're at Rankamang University. So almost there. Oh, this one's going the other way, so we're waiting for the one to go. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool because like not many foreigners take these canal boats. I rarely, rarely see foreigners on the boats, but like you see a completely different side of Bangkok when you take these boats. Check it out. Got the airport rail link up there. But yeah, it's like a totally different side of Bangkok and it's, it's kind of cool to see. You see tons of locals and how they live. It's, it's, it's totally different. Yo, what's up guys? So I just finished my registration for uh, second semester. Paid <laughs> 41,500 baht for my second semester. Um, they don't let you pay like one year at a time or the full the full course. You pay semester by semester. Um, so yeah, did that today. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different for second semester instead of first semester, the first semester I just take six courses, but uh, the second and all my following semesters, it will be seven courses each, each uh, semester. Uh, but it was cheaper than the first semester. The first semester was about 45,000 baht for everything with the registration. But uh, second semester is only 41,500 baht. So that's kind of good. It's a lot cheaper. And that's literally $1,200 per semester now, which is really, really cheap compared to America or even Europe or Australia for college courses. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, one good thing that I wanted to tell everybody uh, Thailand now for your bachelor degree, if you're studying here for your bachelor degree or your master's degree, they have an ED plus visa. It's a new new thing, a new requirement. I'll put the link uh, in the description about everything about the ED plus visa. It's great because my visa now, I only have to go to immigration uh, twice every year. I get six months entry and it's a multiple entry. So I can leave and co like come back each time. So 
like when I have fights or if I want to go for a vacation with my wife, we, we can just leave and come back and have no issues and it's super, super convenient. And another great thing about the ED plus visa is after you finish your study in Thailand, you're granted an extra one year stay in Thailand, even though you're not studying to either look for work or look for your job or to just spend kind of like a gap year if you wanna be on vacation, you get an extra year uh, stay with the ED plus visa. So um, I thought that was really awesome. I'll put a lot of the details in the description. So, uh, so yeah, everything's done start my second semester uh the first week of december and uh yeah we're good to go oh one thing guys i forgot to mention is like the biggest difference between a normal education visa and the ed plus visa actually there's three main differences the one big thing is that with the education visa like for an english language school or a muay thai visa or something for studying muay thai uh every 90 days you have to renew it and extend it at immigration and uh, for the ED plus visa, it's once every six months. So that's a that's a huge difference. Um, another big thing too is like uh, when you have an education visa, it's not a multiple entry visa. It's a, every time you leave the country, you have to get a re-entry permit and pay a thousand baht, uh, and you get an extra stamp in your passport, and it lets you come back on the same visa. But with the ED plus visa, you can just come and go and no problem and come back and you're on the same visa and it's like no big deal. It's super, super convenient. And then the last thing, after you graduate from your bachelor degree or your master's degree, you get an extra one year stay in Thailand on the ED plus visa. And the Thailand government just kind of grants that and allows you either to look for work or just to stay in the country. And I think it's super awesome of the government and yeah, it makes the visa super, uh, very attractive. <laughs> and um, and yeah, of course, a typical education visa, every 90 days when you're studying a course, you have to, you have to, you know, it's every 90 days and you don't get those advantages. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, something to think about. And like studying for your bachelor degree, it's really not that expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than, uh, than an education program. And I studied uh, Thai language for almost a year before I, paid for a ranking university and switched to study for my bachelor's degree because it was just like oh if i only pay a little bit more i can get a bachelor's degree and get all these other advantages so yeah guys just something to think about and that's the huge difference so cheers guys if you got any value from this video please uh you know like and subscribe comment let me know what you what you guys think thanks guys